What's up guys, Rob from Heroes Avenue. Things are finally looking good for this Batman movie because we finally got an update from the man himself, Matt Reeves. Of course, he's going to be directing the upcoming Batman movie. And you know, if you watched my last video, I, we, I talked about the latest rumor in which Batman, uh, in which, the, in which uh, reports were saying that Batman was going to be heavily influenced by Batman Year One. Something I wasn't a big fan of given that we've gotten an iteration of Batman's origin story before in uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins and that movie was a masterpiece. So I don't even I don't need a retelling of that origin story. I think it was perfect. Not that uh, not that uh, Matt Reeves can't do uh, do it better or do it just as good. I just want to see something different, a new side of Batman. And in these comments, he addresses just that. So let's read some of these comments here. We're working on getting our draft in the next couple of weeks, and things are progressing. We have conceptual stuff going and coming into being, and my head is totally in the script. In fact, I'm going to be leaving right now from the Beverly Hilton to work on the script. I'm just excited to be focused on a tale that's defined for him, Batman, and is very personal to him, but at the same time, we're really obviously, we're not doing any origin tales or anything like that, but definitely Batman, emotional, and him being the world's greatest detective. There it is, guys. Matt, uh, Matt Reeves is going to be focusing in on distinguishing his trilogy on focusing on being the world's greatest detective. I said trilogy, but right now it's just one movie. But I, I really think he's going to be heavily focusing on that should he get another movie on, on the detective side of things. Because that's what makes Batman one of the greatest characters. His, it, not only is he a, he's a billionaire with all this incredible tech, great fighting skills, but he's also a detective. Um, Obviously, um, each iteration of Batman so far is focused in on some great aspects that I really, really love, and uh, and I'm really excited to see something different. And that it's not an origin tale. That's super exciting for me. Um, and uh, the script's going to be in in a couple weeks, so that means more details to come. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys stay on top of what we're talking about and uh, and the news and how we how we view the news coming out. So let's uh, go on. There's ways in which this connects to the DC Universe as well, and we're one of many pieces. I'm not sure what that means. Reeves said that Ben Affleck is still involved, but that it was way too early to talk to which capacity. Um, obviously, Ben Affleck wrote to the first draft of the script with Jeff Johns, but uh, er rumors were saying that Matt Reeves wanted to do his own story. So how much of Ben Affleck's story is in this, we don't know yet. Um, and uh, they also asked him questions about Robin in the movie, and Reeves exclaimed, "I can't comment on anything or anything like that." So, so those are big. That that's not a lot, but that's very telling, and it's very big. That obviously the, one of the biggest controversies surrounding this movie is who's going to play Batman. So he says. Uh, he says that uh, Ben Affleck is still involved. I hope it's not just part of his script, and I'm hoping he's going to be, uh, you know, it, I'm get, I get the vibes that he wants to be out, but he does want to do a good send-off. So I, I have a feeling, I have something that I imagined that's going to happen. So, imagine this. The movie starts off panning around Gotham City. We see the shadows in the night, obviously it's the Batman. We see him stopping a crime in an alley. Then you hear a voiceover, very distinctly Ben Affleck's voice. You see him fighting crime, you see him, you see him, you see him dismantling these muggers. Then you start to hear the voiceover. What is Gotham City to me? Bruce Wayne? In a single word? Home? Family? Purpose? But the truth? The real truth is? I couldn't answer the question. But then I remembered something, friends. I remembered something my father, Thomas Wayne, used to say to me before bed. Sometimes back when I was a boy and I'd had a bad day. When I'd fallen down a hole in the ground or skinned my knee, at the end of the day, like that, he'd pat me on my head and he'd say, Bruce, tomorrow is one dream away. You see a close-up of Batman. He takes off his mask. It is Ben Affleck. But then the camera starts zooming in, zooming in, and it fades to him as a younger man and it reveals the new actor and there goes the story the story begins from there one of the greatest detective stories uh, that has been told for the character of Batman and I read that excerpt from Court of Owls 
One of you guys commented on our videos below. In my last video, I talked about my stories that I wanted to see done. And uh, one of my favorite picks was uh, was The Long Halloween or Dark Victory. But then someone, one of you guys commented uh, below saying, what about Court of Owls as an origin story? Because uh, it also does focus on him being a detective. And I was like, that's a freaking great idea. I don't know why I didn't mention it in my last video. So that's just kind of how I picture the movie start. Ben Affleck is going to narrate it. And uh, this is going to be a way it introduces the new character of Batman. It'll be the old, reminiscing on the past. And there's going to be that shot where it zooms in on Ben Affleck's face and fades into the younger version of himself. Who will be... I'm not sure yet because we don't know who's going to play Batman. I do have some, I do have some people that I think might, uh, might be a good choice. Um, but stay tuned for a, a top five video, top five and three minutes casting video for the Batman. Uh, but who knows, if, if they announce this guy two weeks from now, then, then, then that video will be moot and it won't be no point in making it. So stay tuned for that. I'm just excited uh, to see... Uh, to, I'm excited to get the news about what's coming. So, you know, they might be filming, filming it as early as spring in 2019 or summer. Hopefully it's earlier than that and hopefully we get all this news because I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, new Batman news. Who would you want to be as the new Batman should Ben Affleck leave? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like, please, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.